The Reign of Nefertiti Say the name Nefertiti and an image of feminine elegance comes to mind. As the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten, she reigned over Egypt from 1353 BC to 1336 BC, taking on an unprecedented role as both regent and priestess during her tenure at the head of one of the greatest known civilizations in history. In this video, we'll discuss what is known about Nefertiti's upbringing, marriage to Akhenaten, rise to power, beauty regimen, she was a pioneer in skincare, religious views, and death or disappearance from the historical record. So watch the video till the end because you will be amazed to know the reign of Nefertiti. So let's start without wasting any time. Nefertiti's Parentage and Early Life Although the parentage of Nefertiti is unknown, there is some speculation about who her parents may have been. Some historians believe that she was born to a priestess named Mitnajmet, who served the goddess Hathor. Others believe that she was actually the daughter of Ai and his wife Tia, but there is no evidence to support this claim. Marriage to Akhenaten In the second year of his reign, Akhenaten married Nefertiti, who was 12 years old at the time. Their marriage was arranged by their parents and took place after a long courtship that included the exchange of gifts between them. Nefertiti's name means the beautiful one has come. She was born in Egypt and had several siblings, including Matnajme, whose mummy remains have been found in Amarna. Her father's name is unknown, but it has been suggested that he may have been of Syrian or Hittite origin. What we do know about Nefertiti comes from inscriptions made by her husband during his reign. This shows how important she was to him, as well as gives us some idea about how they were portrayed in art together. Rise to Power Nefertiti's rise to power began when she married Akhenaten, who was king of Egypt in the 18th dynasty. Nefertiti was a queen regent, which means she ruled as co-regent with her husband. She was also the chief of the royal harem and one of his most trusted advisors. In this position, Nefertiti became very powerful and influential within Egypt. She wielded great influence over her son Tutankhamun when he succeeded his father as pharaoh at age 9. Reasons for the Rise of Nefertiti's Power Nefertiti's rise to power was a result of a number of factors. First, she had the backing of her husband Akhenaten. He was a powerful pharaoh, and as such, he was able to wield considerable influence over Egyptian politics. Second, she had the support of her family. Her father Ai and her brother Smenkare were both highly influential men in Egypt at the time. Finally, Nefertiti was a skilled diplomat and capable administrator who worked to strengthen Egypt's economy during her reign. Some evidence suggests that Nefertiti ruled Egypt as a co-regent with her husband. This theory is supported by the fact that she appears on several of Akhenaten's monuments and also by the fact that she was the first royal woman to be depicted in this way. However, other scholars believe that Nefertiti was only a queen consort who did not rule over Egypt at all. They claim that it was impossible for her to have been a co-regent with her husband because of the strict rules of Egyptian society at the time. One of her greatest contributions to history is that she ruled alone after her husband's death. Nefertiti was a major player in the Egyptian empire during her husband's reign. She was a queen, a warrior, and an artist. One of her greatest contributions to history is that she ruled alone after her husband's death. She was not only an effective leader in her own right, but also a powerful woman who fought for her kingdom against potential threats. She also carried out many public works projects, including building temples and monuments to herself and other gods, as well as digging canals for irrigation purposes. The bust of Nefertiti is one of the most famous pieces of art in the world. It was discovered in 1912 in a tomb in Amarna, Egypt, and since then it has captivated people with its beauty and mystery. The bust's subject is an Egyptian queen who ruled alongside her husband, Pharaoh Akhenaten, during the 18th dynasty, 1353 BCE to 1336 BCE. She may have been named Neferneferwaten, Beautiful are the beauties of Aten, in honor of her husband's god, Aten. She also may have been known as Queen Neferneferaten Nefertiti. The beautiful one has come. The bust shows a woman with short wavy hair parted on one side and pulled back into two long braids that frame her face. Her eyes are almond-shaped and her lips are full. 
Her nose is straight with high cheekbones and a slight widow's peak at the top of her forehead. She wears a long necklace with a large amulet at its center, which may be an ankh symbolizing life or fertility. She wears a crown with a Urius serpent rising above it, the symbol of royalty worn by pharaohs during ancient Egyptian times. And she has. Nefertiti changed history. How? She is widely considered to be one of the most influential women in history. She changed the way people thought about gender roles and helped push forward the idea that women could hold positions of power. Nefertiti is known for her beauty. She was known for her intelligence and wisdom as well as her beauty, but she is most famous for being the Queen of Egypt in the 14th century BC. Akhenaten and Nefertiti had six daughters. The reign of Nefertiti was a time of great change and prosperity for Egypt. During her reign, she and her husband Akhenaten had six daughters, Meritaten, Mikataten, Ankensenpaten, also known as Ankensenamun, Neferneferwaten Tasharit, Neferneferure, and Setapenre. Controversy over Nefertiti's religious views. Nefertiti was a powerful religious figure in her own right. Nefertiti was often depicted as a goddess, and she felt that she could help the people of Egypt in the same way that the gods did. She believed that if she prayed to them, they would listen to her and help her people. In fact, she believed so strongly in this idea that she started building temples that would be dedicated to the gods and goddesses of Egypt. The Temple of Hathor was one such temple. It was built so that people could come there to pray for guidance and healing from this particular goddess. She was politically influential. Nefertiti was a powerful political figure in her own right. She held great influence over her husband and son, as well as many other people in the Egyptian court, and she may have been behind some of the religious changes that occurred during this period. Although she was not officially recognized as co-regent, historians believed that she may have been involved in many decisions made by her husband during his reign. She had a mothering role, raising her daughters to be future queens. Nefertiti raised her own children to be future queens, and she also played a key role in raising other royal children. She oversaw the education of her daughters, who would eventually become queens themselves, and taught them how to read hieroglyphics. She also served as a political advisor, helping to manage the day-to-day -day business of running Egypt while her husband was away on military campaigns. The Egyptian language was simplified during her reign, which led to shortening names for wives and daughters of royalty. The reign of Nefertiti marked a shift in the Egyptian language. The language was simplified during her reign, which led to shortening names for wives and daughters of royalty. The use of simplified hieroglyphs allowed for the creation of new words and phrases, as well as the simplification of existing words. For example, Nefertiti itself can be broken down into two parts. Nefer, beauty, and T, to give birth. These new words were often used in place of their full forms, leading to shortened names such as Nefertiti's daughter, Meritaten, instead of Meritaten, Atiser, Hemet, Nizut, Nizutet, Netter, Ankh, Nefertari, or Beautiful One Who Comes Forth From the Horizon. Disappearance from the Historical Record Disappearance from the Historical Record Although Nefertiti was a powerful queen, she disappeared from the historical record after a few years. Historians have long wondered what happened to her. There are several theories. She may have died or been deposed, and in either case, buried in the Valley of the Kings or some other location. The reign of Nefertiti is one of the most disputed and mysterious in all of Egyptian history. She may have died or been deposed, and in either case, buried in the Valley of the Kings or some other location. Nefertiti's tomb is located near the Valley of the Kings, but there is no evidence that she was buried there. Her name has been found on several pieces of jewelry and other objects recovered from tombs outside the valley. One theory is that Nefertiti was buried in a hidden chamber behind a statue in Tutankhamun's tomb. But this theory has never been proven. And some believe that it would have been impossible for someone to hide such an enormous object from ancient Egyptian priests who were responsible for maintaining sacred burial sites. She may have been exiled. However, there are some theories that suggest Nefertiti may have been exiled from Egypt in year 16 of Akhenaten's reign after he decided to convert to monotheism and banish all other gods. These theories suggest that she was ultimately executed alongside her husband in year 17. 
She may have died in childbirth or childbirth complications. Nefertiti's death has been the subject of much debate. Some scholars believe that she may have died in childbirth or childbirth complications, while others claim that she was murdered. Some scholars believe that Nefertiti actually died childlessly and that her death was staged to make it appear as though she had passed away during childbirth. This idea is supported by the fact that Tutankhamun did not take a wife until after he became king, suggesting that he may have been too young at the time of his mother's death and it wasn't until later on in his life when he finally felt ready for marriage. The precise date of Nefertiti's death is unknown. There are no ancient texts that record her death, and the only evidence we have comes from a small statue found in Tutankhamun's tomb. The statue is damaged, which makes it difficult to tell if it really is Nefertiti or not. Scholars are currently rewriting her history in light of recent discoveries at the Tel El Amarna. While it had been previously believed that Nefertiti died some time after her husband, it seems that she actually survived him for quite some time. She may have even ruled Egypt alone after her husband's death, the first female pharaoh to do so. She changed the way we understand ancient Egypt. She changed the way we understand ancient Egypt, but she was also the only queen who had her own name inscribed in hieroglyphs on public monuments. Nefertiti shows women can rule Egypt. It comes down to one thing. Nefertiti shows us that women can rule Egypt. We know that Nefertiti was an important figure in her own right, but she also paved the way for other women who would walk in her footsteps and even those who would follow after them. In ancient Egypt, pharaohs had no choice but to be male, but Nefertiti showed them that they didn't have to be. She was able to rule alongside her husband and change the way we think about what it means to be a pharaoh today. If women today are to follow in Nefertiti's footsteps, they may have to reject the traditional expectations placed upon them. Women are expected to be submissive, passive, and subservient to men. Some women have fought alongside these expectations by demanding equal rights for themselves and their children. But others have chosen to rebel against these expectations by becoming leaders in their own communities and countries. These women have shaped history with their actions and their words. In the end, Nefertiti was a powerful queen who was widely admired by her contemporaries. She used her position to champion a new religious cult, but she eventually faded from the historical record and left no heir to replace her. We may never know exactly what happened to this famous queen, but she is one of the most influential figures in Egyptian history and will always be remembered as someone who played an important role during a pivotal time for the world's greatest ancient civilization. Well, that's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos about history, please leave us a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.